Belstad, the royal Aegis, shield of the king. You find him right outside Vendrick's tomb where the king has gone to wither and hollow, and he confronts you as you enter, loyal lapdog to the end. He is a servant of the light. You can certainly buy a sunlight miracle with his soul, but the spells he casts are tinged with dark, which seems to have slowly crept into him, corrupting him during his long watch. But I think Velstad should really be understood in the context of Vendrick. He's a grand knight in shining armor, regally appointed with his long scale mail cloak and enormous bell hammer. His finery reflects his status as Vendrick's right hand man. He's a product of Vendrick's power and glory. And you are shown this right before you enter Vendrick's tomb so that the contrast between them will hit you as hard as possible. Velstad is another one of Dark Souls 2's much maligned dudes in armor bosses, but just like the Looking Glass Knight, that armor is part of the storytelling. It tells us something about how glorious Vendrick was in the past, and thus how far he had left to fall when he came here. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.